hey, I'm in Philadelphia right now. And behind me, let's see if I can move, right behind me, is the Liberty Hall Center. So it's where the Liberty Bell is housed. Um, we like to think of Liberty Bell as uh, synonymous with, um, I guess, independence. However, I would say not black independence, rather white American independence. So because of that, this is not actually where my story takes place. I came down to, to, the, to Pins uh, Philadelphia. Mainly I was actually outside of Philadelphia for a symposium. And I wanted to find a place that was historically significant to black people while I was out here. And where this journey took me was to West Philadelphia uh, and to the, specifically the site of the MOVE bombing. That's right. You know, what's happening with the MOVE organization is that we are revolutionaries, true revolutionaries, and we don't make no apologies for that. You know, we don't back off of that word revolution at all. And we don't back off of it because we know that at this time, more than any other time, you know, revolution is necessary. It is necessary. Not only based on what has happened with the MOVE organization, you know, the babies that have been murdered, you know, MOVE adults that have been murdered, bombs being dropped on us. But past that to what is happening with all black people, so-called minority people, you know, money poor people. You know, this government, as has been said earlier, has waged war on us. But you know, something about us, particularly here in America, we don't really understand that. You know, we don't really know what war is. You know, what people got to understand is that unity is the key. Unity is the key to revolution. Revolution ain't nothing to be afraid of. It ain't nothing to shy away from. Revolution, contrary to what officials, you know, this system and those backing the officials running this system, you know, want people to believe that revolution means violence, you know, means blood in the street. I'm saying it can get to that point, but it don't have to be violent. You know, when people come together and take a strong stand on an issue, this government don't have no choice but to listen. Where do you think they get their authority from? They don't have no power but they do have authority to do certain things. Where do you think they get it from? They get it from us, from the people. You know, they get it from us accepting the things that they do and not putting a stop to it when we don't like it or encouraging it when it's something that's in our interest. All people got to do is make their uh, wishes known. All people have to do is stand up and say, listen, we're not accepting that. We don't want it. When a young black man gets shot down in the street, you know, don't just sit back and say that's a shame, you know, and go to the funeral. I mean, that ain't enough. That ain't getting it no more. That ain't getting it no more. And one thing black people have to be uh, careful about is being fooled by color. Black skin don't mean nothing. I mean, it was a black mayor that dropped that bomb on us, that sanctioned that bomb being dropped on us. And I don't care what he knew beforehand or what he actually said or did. The point is, you know, he is the mayor. He's responsible for it. And after it happened, the man said he would do it again. That's all I need to know. You know, that's, it's past time. It is past time for poor people, black people, you know, to realize that this system has failed you. It has failed you. You can't get nothing from it. And what people got to do is withdraw our support from it and start doing for ourselves. That's what we got to do.